How's it going everyone? It's Liam Carson here with more Vampire Diaries as we get into episode number 16 for season 2. Um, that last episode was just epic every single second. It was just very thrilling stuff, of course, um, as we not just delved into very, very amazing content in the past, uh, especially with the return of Lexi, but also um, in regards to what was happening in the present with Catherine now, she's out of the tomb. Um, thanks to the fact that Elijah is currently dead at the minute, uh, with the fact that he's still got a dagger inside him, of course. Uh, we made that little bit of a mistake when Alaric tried to off him in the first attempt. Um, but, of course, a brilliant and just lovely plan cooked up by Elena was was um, the one to, I guess, seal the deal, really. So, yeah, but um, I'm looking forward to getting into this episode. It was really, really thrilling stuff last time. So, yeah, why don't we get into this episode, uh, episode 16 of season 2. Let's go. You think I'm Catherine? Why uh oh. Why would you think that Catherine's in the tomb? Oh shit! Isn't she? Oops! Cat out the bag! <laughs> oh shit! I don't know. You tell me. Is Catherine in the tomb or not? Oh, Devin, you're hurting me. Stop it, Catherine! Ah. Stop what? Oh my god! It's getting real. Wow! The fact that, I mean, David was right, bloody hell. I mean, the fact she played both of them acting all innocent. It's too rocky. Just, it's just too rocky with these two. Why is she still here? She was free. She wants what we want. Klaus is dead. Maybe she sees this as her only chance. Which is kind of fair, we'll but, you know. <sighs> Because you haven't forcibly removed me. Oh shit. You wouldn't. Do it! Oh, I would. Do it! Damon, be smart. I want class tip just as much as you do. More. Still, you know, Loki, do it. About helping. I'm lying about something. John's gonna end up dead on the kitchen floor if he's not careful. Yeah, <laughs> no. well, I hope that's Elena's plan. Train, so. China keeps asking about Isabel. You know, was she murdered? Why haven't they found the body? I mean, how much longer can she stay in the dark? Do you think Not... we should tell her the truth? She's going to find that out sooner or later. Oh. I suspect that you and Elijah had a plan to kill Klaus. Let us help you carry it out. You can trust us. I mean, that well, noose well, is well. on them, really. You can really see it from him. There's really no choice but to I comply. No, we, we tried, Luca, for weeks. We don't have a backup plan, though, Dad, and we need to be doing everything we can to save Greta. We will save her. Hey, but Elijah is the answer, not Stefan and his brother. Those okay, people, let's not eliminate. Enemies. They need to be dealt with. Are you going to kill him? No. <sighs> I'm going to let Elijah do it. Elijah is... Unless you're going to plan to really... Yeah, fuck things up by taking the dagger out. Yeah, he's not helping, bud. My devil's advocate, maybe there is a great reason why he's not telling you. Maybe he is just trying to protect you. Well, that's not his call to make. I mean, I deserve the truth. Everybody does. Oh, sometimes wow. it's than that. Not if it's somebody you care about, it isn't. And this epiphany you... Oh, how to say how 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 to rest her mind assured without spilling everything out about the vampires and the supernatural and the death. Elena and Damon, the reading. Good. Well, yeah, it's definitely Elena. If Elijah's there, you'll sense him. Definitely Stay Elena. Focused. In before Catherine's actually hanging out with the gals. <laughs> no. These? Find anything? Nope. That's too bad. I love. Yeah. I I love how they try to be discreet about the, the situation. Interesting. Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't find anything. I didn't find anything. <clears throat> Killer. 
She's a vampire. Find a stake and drag it through her heart. Shit. Shit. Well, it could save, though. Although... Holy shit, Luca! Holy shit! Oh my god, is he gonna die here? Oh, no, okay, okay. Holy fuck! Please, just wake up, son. Open your eyes. Oh, heck! I mean, they were playing with some very dangerous trickery. Not tonight, Rick. Tonight I have traded you for Senor Tequila. Yeah. <laughs> well, me. Senor Tequila is not going to be treating you very well. Well, the two of you have a lot in common. Look, and I hate that you're this upset. Ouch! Ouch. I can see. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah. Oh oh oh! Come on! You know come what? on, Caroline. I'm gonna sing. Sweet Caroline. Off the stage. <laughs> you are gonna let me live on my rock star faces, and you are gonna be my backup. Wow. You I'm here Do for you it. Holy shit! There we go. Just, just look at her shine. She, oh, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh shit! What the fuck, Jonas? Yeah. I mean to oh no next time goes in your heart Is that how that's you fair oh, sorry to help you you want to help start talking i'd love to but you're not gonna like it try me fine he didn't like you not telling him about Don't the dagger so as you. that's part of the deal i could only save one of you so ouch you of course she would. Of course she would. But that... You wanted the truth, That still you? hurts. The truth does hurt. And a hundred people's worth of pain, and... He deserves to be with someone as amazing as you. There you go. Really? I mean... Really? You need a face there. There you go. Shit. Hey, it's dark. No one can see shit. <laughs> I think he's not in the agreeing mood. Oh, come. Wasn't the grill already having issues? Well... Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Matt, 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 Matt. Whoa! Oh, okay. You ballet. Oh, my God. Fucking dick. So he's definitely not going to get compelled and all of that. Oh no, Elena. Oh no. Oh no! Oh! Oh! You're welcome. Oh, that next step. Okay. Any of you are going to believe anything, 
believe that. I mean, she has made it a bit difficult, but... Thanks for getting me home. I was kind of crazy. Yeah. Jenna, are you going to be okay? It's one of those tough pills to swallow in terms of, okay, yeah, you've got to believe her. Okay. Okay, that's what he was doing with the whole... Jonas wants me to kill Klaus. <laughs> and did he include a how? Yeah. Oh, shit! Other bedrooms in this house. Go find one. Oh, oh, ouch! Damn, she tried. She tried to look. Not a. Nothing. Nothing, Matt. I need to get out of here. No, 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 no. Shit. Did you do my sister? Oh, he's gonna. No, no. You have to calm her down, Matt. He's gonna think that this was all her. I'm. Shitting how? Isabel. Ah, oh, great. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, I, I. She's gotta get in on the loop, right? It, Jenna, she has to. Oof. But I also kind of want to see Jenna just absolutely eat her as well, like. <laughs> Uh, considering, yeah, we, we had uh, a little brush with her, obviously, in season one. Yeah, she was pleasant. She was pleasant. Eey. But yeah, I had a feeling as well that uh, Caroline was not going to compel Matt. Um, not this time. Uh, especially in regards to, you know... The kind of idea on should this change anything about us, about how I, you know, we feel for one another. So, yeah, but. And some big things happened with this one. So, so, hoi. So, more exciting stuff to emerge with this episode. Um, obviously, there's this whole dilemma about secrecy and letting uh, certain people know about stuff um so yeah because i do feel like jenna's gonna know in you know a couple of episodes maybe the next episode now that isabel has shown up so yeah but um we know that matt is um now in on the know um handling it well so yeah um so it will be very, very interesting to see what will happen, uh, because obviously there is this protective layer um, that we know John and Isabel have for Elena. However, Elena is really not their biggest fans, um, as we all well know. So, yeah. And like I said, there is there is low-key a side of me that wants Jenna to absolutely deck her. So, yeah, we'll see what happens um, next time. But, yeah, great stuff. Really great stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um, really, yeah, felt bad for Alaric as well. Um, with the fact that, um, you know, he, he, you're tr you can only try so much in terms of, like, not revealing the big secrets about, you know, the whole vampire shtick and all of that. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And with the whole Isabel situation, you know, that that's, you know, all down to Elena, but now that's gonna, I guess, uh, unpack itself. So yeah, but Alaric's in a bit of a, in a bit of a boring at the minute. So yeah, uh, but I also felt so bad for Matt as well because, um, I mean, his mind is doing the numbers, isn't it? So yeah, but then again, he also feels so bad for Caroline because of the fact that, you know, she wanted to, like, she she wanted Matt and, um. 
you know, it was a really, really beautiful piece, wasn't it, when when she got up and sang. So, yeah. Um, and, you know, just when all looked really, really um, right for them to, you just get stabbed in the neck. So, yeah. Um, and you just had a feeling like, yeah, there's going to be no compelling this time. Because obviously, Matt had a bit of a moment uh, before earlier this season. Um, but thus, there was the little bit of a compelling situation. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And now M Matt is in on the no. Uh, like, especially with the fact that, I mean, he would find out at some point. Like, especially if, if Caroline wants to, you know, if if she wants to... Um, pursue this relation if, if she if her heart is so set on Matt so yeah um so but that's it though like I said Matt's head's doing the numbers because now he's found out about a vampire he's like wait did you kill Mike's sister and all of that and you know even though Caroline didn't she she just merely discovered the body um you know, you can't help but do the numbers because, of course, she yeah, like Matt only knows that Caroline is a is a is a vampire. So not you know Damon or Stefan, etc. So yeah. Um. So it's just really really heartbreaking uh, for him. So yeah, I will say I did feel as well for Luca and Jonas as well. Um, even if they weren't a bit very reckless uh, in regards to the whole, you know, astral scrying situation. I know it's like astral projection, if anything. But, you know, you just can't help as well but think, ooh, some nice little scrying going on here. Um, plus, it sounds cooler in terms of what they were doing as well. Like, they were with, with uh, Luca, uh, obviously, prying around and trying to get the dagger out for, from Elijah. So, nearly happened. It will happen, but it nearly happened in this episode. So, yeah. Um, and, yeah. Like I said, in terms of... Um, their situation in this episode, you do feel for them because they've both, well, it does feel a bit macabre with the fact that I did say about the, uh, about the situation that they had, um, nooses around their neck and, uh, or necks, should I say, plural. Um, and then this episode they died, but they've had that, you know, all throughout, haven't they? Because, you know, with Klaus having, uh, Greta, um, her name, um, they really don't have many options. So, um, and f getting Elijah back, uh, especially since um, he would be very, very fundamental uh, in terms of bringing down Klaus, that would, that, you know, that is a golden opportunity for Greta to come back. So, yeah. Um, obviously, they were not going to side with Damon and, and Stefan, but... I would have taken the chance, so yeah. Uh, except for the fact that, um, you know, if Elijah did come back, like I said in the uh, last episode, he's someone who takes this shit personally, and, um, you know, given Elena's sly move that she made in, in the... Um, uh, in, in the last episode, one has to think... What would have happened to our protagonists and all of that? So, yeah. Um, I mean, Catherine for you know, I, I, I'm not sure if, like, a lot of... I'm not sure how many people would be concerned about Catherine and all of that. <laughs> um, you know, even if she does want the same thing, yeah, she is problematic, obviously. But... You just got to think about Elena and uh, everyone else um, who would be headhunted, uh, headhunted by Elijah. So, uh, and sadly, they just went for a really, really risky idea in regards to um, freeing the dagger from Elijah so shit could um, hit the fans. So that's why you were really like, that's that's why you were really, really supportive about Catherine just um, stopping that dagger from being released because shit would hit the fan. He would, like I said, Elijah would take this shit personally. So, yeah. Um, and I do feel like when the time does come, 
for the dagger to come out, yeah, it, it, it's, it's going to get real ugly, potentially. Um, but we did get a little bit of a, an idea in terms of Elijah and his uh, little witch, um, you know, findings and all of that, as well as, you know, learning a bit more about the witches as well in terms of that, in, in terms of what happens when they, when they die, obviously. So, yeah, but yeah, it was really, really great stuff. So yeah, like I said, I do feel so bad for both Jonas and, uh, and, and uh, Lucas, so yeah, bit risky, but it's not like um, they wanted to. It, it, that's it, though. It was all about the. Uh, it was all about Lucas' sister at the end of the day. Um, it wasn't just to cause any kind of shenanigans and all of that shit. So yeah, but Elijah needed to stay dead. So yeah, um, it's just a shame with what happened. So. Yeah, obviously, um, there was no idea about the ramifications of what would happen, In I guess, in terms of um, what was happening at the Salvatore camp. So, yeah, but, um, it, it, yeah, it, it's, it's just a very, very sad uh, and grim scenario. So, yeah. Um, but I will say, I think, uh, you know, with Catherine pretending to be a later in this episode, it was really, really well done. Um, obviously, when it came, when it comes to them too, and it, when it comes to the who's who um, situation, for Catherine, she needs to kind of nail this, doesn't it? Doesn't she? As time goes on, so it can not just confuddle the characters themselves, um, like it did at the beginning of this episode, but also the viewers as well. Uh, hence the shirt and all of that. So. Um, obviously, with uh, the shirt that uh, Catherine was wearing once um, she did tangle with Jonas, it was a bit of a lighter shade, I guess, to uh, uh, lighter and similar uh, kind of clothing to uh, obviously what Elena wore. So, yeah, but um, yeah, um, I, that's why I really loved that beginning as well, because of the fact that well, Damon was right about the fact that he was talking with. Um, Catherine, and then Stefan went to Elena, thinking that she was Catherine, and it's like, oops, so yeah, I, I really, really liked what they did in terms of the whole confusion situation with Elena and uh, Catherine, so yeah, um, so great stuff, although I also really loved how Damon just absolutely was not having any of this with Catherine, like especially when she was trying to, when, 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 when she tried to look, coming on to him, um, in, in the closing stages of this episode, so yeah, um, yeah, it was, like, that's it, though, with, with David, I mean, with what Catherine said in this episode, as well as prior, of course, um, it's just gonna be a case of you pushed your luck too far, isn't it, so, uh, and just to get this information that, you know, Catherine wouldn't have mind, like, she's, she's not exactly in a position of care if, you know, he died, um, let alone she she chose Stefan um, to not be the sacrificial lamb, and Damon fits that role. Yeah, it's you. You're just at your limit, really. So, um, and when you consider the fact that he was uh, denied, like like I said in prior episodes, when um you know she chose Stefan anyways in terms of who you know she has the hots for it, it you know there's been occasions where his heart has shattered so here's another situation of that where she chooses Stefan over Damon but it's more so on who who's going to survive this uh if, if I'm going to choose a sacrificial lamb it's not going to be Stefan so yeah so you know with Damon just denying her and all of that telling her that there are six other rooms in this house. You know, pick a bedroom. Really, really well done from Damon. So, yeah. Um, so, you can't really blame him. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's a situation where she can't get what she wants all the time. So, whatever she might think... Um... She's not going to get what she wants all the time. She feels like she might. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, she, she said that anyways. And then, like I said, she tried her look. And then Damon's like, yeah, you might think you get, you might get what you want. 
all of all that shit. But not here. Six other bedrooms, pick a room, goodbye, toodles. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I can't really blame him, so, but, you know, yeah, who can blame him? I mean, like I said, not just in terms of prior episodes, but, you know, if I was told I was the sacrificial lamb, I'm, like, from someone who isn't really one for empathy, I would say, um, I wouldn't be too chipper about this, so... Especially if I didn't have a say in it. Instead, like, uh, if I was basically being targeted to be uh, picked off, because that's what it was. It wasn't like, oh, uh, it wasn't like Damon said, oh, I voluntarily die and all of that. Um, yeah, Catherine uh, picked a brother, and... Yeah. So... we, But... I don't blame him whatsoever. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, really, really fantastic stuff. Um, quite tragic in a few areas. It will be very interesting to see Isabel's involvement with, now that she's, you know, turned up on the doorstep. And uh, yeah, like I said, I want Jenna to absolutely yeet her. So, um, but no, I am looking forward to seeing what the next episode will provide so yeah but until then i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i will see you guys next time